Well, insofar as we move away from broadcast media of one to the many, of a pedagogy based on one to the many, to, let's say, the ideal of peer production, of peer review, of a culture of collaboration and shared ethos, which is based on peer structure. We have to say many to many, many to many, which is a kind of new set of um, ecologies, uh, which are 24-7. Uh, they uh, are not necessarily uh, formal. They can be informal. They take place anywhere and everywhere. They're ubiquitous and they're mobile. Now, when you look at those kinds of uh, changes, you have to say that when these really kick in, then you can, you can see how uh, the, the old industrial pedagogies are, are going to give way to something quite dramatically different. And I think that's true not only at the level of pedagogy, but also at the level of research. Not all of it good. Some of it, you know, you, you, we have to have a balanced view here. I don't want to buy into a, a hyper discourse about the digital because there are aspects that people like, uh, for me, uh, Deleuze and Foucault, who um, alerted us to surveillance effects of this totalizing technology. So it does have um, huge emancipatory possibilities, but at the same time, it also has a new governmentality associated with it, you know, and, and you know, uh, the influence of databases, of data-driven data research, of big data, of learning analytics, which can um, determine our psychological predilection, predilections. So, you know, um, there are some big changes afoot, and our, uh, as you well know, uh, as we co cooperated on a series of projects ourselves, around concepts of digital learning and digital, um, digital reading and digital, you know, what it is to read digitally, what it is, it to, is it to, to write and to access content from the web digitally. These are, these are different literacy practices. And so we're, again, we're only at a very short, uh, you know, just at the very, very beginning of, of these, uh, these um, dramatic changes.